of rows and columns. In general, a matrix is a rectangular array of elements, generalized form of a matrix. Matrices are commonly written as A is equal to A11, A12 up till AN and similarly in the first column starting from A11 up till AM1 and so on. In most of the scientific fields, we use applications of matrices. Matrices are suitable for the storage, display and manipulation of data. Matrices are used in graphic software to process linear transformations to render images. Vector. Any object that has a magnitude and direction is called vector. A vector is a matrix having only one row or one column. Row vector. A row vector is a matrix having only one row. A row vector R having n elements R i j has dimension 1 by n and the general form is R is equal to R11, R12, R13 and so on up till R1n. Column vector. A column vector is a matrix having only one column. A column vector C having m elements C i j has dimension m multiplied by 1 and the general form is C is equal to C11, C21 up till C m1. Square matrices. A matrix with the same number of rows and columns is known as a square matrix. Following matrix is a square matrix of order 3 by 3. That is given by A11 up till A13. Similarly, a21 up till A23 and the third row is A31 up till A33. Identity matrix. Identity matrix is also known as unit matrix. It is a square matrix for which the elements in the diagonal are equal to 1 and all other elements are equal to 0 such as i is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Transpose of a matrix. A matrix which is formed by turning all the rows of a given matrix into columns or turning all the columns into rows, the transpose of a matrix A is written as AT. Example, find the transpose of a matrix A where A is given by first row is A123 and the second row is 456. To find the transpose of matrix A, we have to change rows into columns. That is, A transpose is equal to first row is 1, 4, second row is 2, 5, and third row is 3, 6. Matrix addition and subtraction. Two matrices can be added or subtracted only if they have same dimension. They must have same number of rows and columns. If A and B are matrices of M by N, after addition or subtraction of these two matrices, we have new matrix C which has the same dimension as A and B. That is, Cij is equal to Aij plus minus Bij. Now we see an example. Given a matrix A is 4837 and a matrix B is 1052. Let's find A plus B. We can find the sum by adding the corresponding entries in the matrices A and B. This is shown below. A plus B is equal to A matrix plus B matrix and then adding the corresponding entries that is adding 4 by 1, 8 into 0, 3 and 5, 7 and 2. So we get A plus B is equal to 5, 8, 8, 9. Now we see an example. The quarterly sales of jute, cotton and yarn for the year 2002 and 2003 are given below in the form of a matrix A and B. Find the total quarterly sales of jute, cotton and yarn for the two years. The total sales of jute, cotton and yarn will be obtained as A plus B is equal to matrix A plus matrix B and adding the corresponding entries we get A plus B matrix given here. Now we see the scalar multiplication. Multiplication of a matrix by a scalar is known as scalar multiplication. Where scalar is a real number, if k is a scalar and a be a matrix, then scalar multiplication is given by k times matrix A, which is given by k into matrix A, and all the entries of the matrix A are multiplied by 
k. For a matrix A, we have to find 2A. To find 2A, we just have to multiply 2 by every entry in the matrix A. That is 2A is given by 2 times the matrix A. So we multiply each entry by 2. So we get 2A is equal to 2, 0, minus 4, 0, 6, minus 2. Inner product. Inner product is the generalization of dot product. Let A matrix is given by A11, A2 up till AN and B matrix is given by B11, B121, BN1. Then the inner product written as A dot B is given by A dot B is equal to A11, B11, A12, B21 and so on up till A1N times BN1. From the definition of inner product, we have the following three points. Number one, the inner product is defined only if the number of elements in row and column are same. Number two, when a row vector is multiplied by a column vector, the result of the inner product is a scalar quantity. Number three, the inner product is computed by multiplying corresponding elements in the two vectors and algebraically summing. Now we see an example. Find the inner product of row and column vectors A and B. Row vector A is given by minus 5, 3, 0, 2 and the column vector B is given by 3, minus 1, 4, 2. The inner product of row and column vector is computed as A dot B multiplying the matrix A by matrix B and then adding the corresponding entries we get A dot B is equal to minus 14. Matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is multiplication of entire matrix by another entire matrix. The product of matrix A and B is defined only if the number of rows of the matrix A is equal to the number of columns of matrix B. For matrix multiplication, we have to multiply the rows of A by the columns of B. Take the first row of A and the first column of B, multiply their entries. The result of matrix multiplication is in the form of a matrix. Given matrix A and B, we have to find the product A, B. Here A is a 2 by 2 matrix and B is also a 2 by 2 matrix. So the product is possible. Now the multiplication is given by A dot B is equal to A matrix multiplied by B matrix. Now we multiply the first row which is 2 minus 3 by the first column of B which is 1, 7. So we get 2 multiplied by 1 plus minus 3 multiplied by 7. Similarly carrying on we multiply the first row by the second column and then we go to the second row multi, multi repeat and then we multiply the second row of A to the first column of B and then second row of a to the second column of B. So we get AB is equal to minus 19, minus 6, 39 and 32. Now we see an example. Ali, Aftab and Danish purchased biscuits of different brands P, Q and R. Ali purchased 10 packets of P, 7 packets of Q and 3 packets of R. Aftab purchased 4 packets of P, 8 packets of Q and 10 packets of R. Danish purchased 4 packets of P, 7 packets of Q and 8 packets of R. If brand P costs RS4, Q costs RS5 and R costs RS6 each, then using the matrix operation, find the amount of money spent by these persons individually. Let Q be the matrix denoting the quantity of each brand of biscuits bought by P, Q and R and let C be the matrix showing the cost of each brand of biscuit. Then we have Q matrix is given by here and the matrix C is given by. Since the number of columns of Q matrix is equal to the number of rows of matrix C, so the matrix multiplication is possible. So we multiply Q by C. So we get the following matrix. After simplifications, we get QC is equal to 93, 116 and 99. Hence, the amount spent by Ali, Aftab and Danish is given by RS93, RS116 and RS99 respectively. Representation of an equation. A linear equation of the form A1x1 
plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 up till a n x n is equal to b can be represented in the matrix form as row vector a1 a2 up till a n and column vector x1 x2 up till x n and their product is equal to p. Now we see an example an equation 5x1 plus 8x2 minus 3x3 can be represented by the inner product such as 5 8 minus 3 multiplied by the column vector x1 x2 x3. Representation of a system of equations. A m cross n system of equations having the form a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 up till a1 n x n is equal to b1. Similarly going on a m1 x1 a m2 x2 a m3 x3 plus so on up till a m n x n is equal to b m. This can be represented by the matrix equation a x is equal to b where the matrix a is the matrix of all the coefficients. Matrix x is all the repeat matrix x is the matrix of all the variables x1 x2 up till xn and the matrix b is all the entries on the right side b1 b2 up till bm example a company produces three products every day their total production on a certain day is 45 tons it is found that production of a third product exceeds the production of the first two product by eight tons while the total combined production of the first and third product is twice that of the second product. Write the given problem in equation and matrix form. Let the production level of the three products be x, y and z respectively. Therefore, we will have the following equations x plus y plus z is equal to 45, z is equal to x plus 8 and x plus z is equal to 2y. Now by rearranging the equation we have x plus y plus z is equal to 45, z minus x is equal to 8, x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Now we can write the system of linear equations in the matrix form. So the matrix A is 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, minus 2, 1 times the matrix x, y, z and which is equal to the matrix 